Over yonder stands little Maggie With a dram glass in her hands She's drinking away her troubles And a courting another man I bought the moonshineracers.com thinking I would be able to sell it to NASCAR. <laughs> but those guys wouldn't have anything to do with it. In fact, they were threatening to come after me. So we started the, I, we needed a name for the band and I was like, we already have a website. So that was it. Moonshine Racers. We're all based out of Charlotte. Cedo and I met uh, through our association with Davidson College. I went to school at Davidson. Cedo went to school at Davidson. So he and I have been playing together for like, 20 some odd years now, like 23, 24 years. Uh, then Tommy and Cito and Steve and I played in a band called the Newcastle Boys, and we used to host. I was a special guest. Yeah, well, he was a special guest. He doesn't claim any kinship, well, but that's been uh, no, we were years ago. We were other bands yeah. at that time. Too. Mid to late 90s, yeah, but that was our first like conglomeration of what would become this band. So, uh, but we're all. We have Carolina connections, most all of us. Uh, I'm originally from Spruce Pine up in the mountains, a little small town between Boone and Asheville. Uh, Steve, Morganson boy, Tommy, Charlotte, Native. Yeah, I grew up in Charlotte. We're all charlatans. That's right. We're all charlatans <laughs> now, but I am originally grew up in Tampa, so I'm a swamp, swamp guy, bluegrass yeah. swamp guy. And this one over here, where did you grow up? In Venezuela, Caracas. And I uh, traveled all over the place. I also uh, I went to Colorado to try to make it uh, rich with the uh, the dot com thing, and of course I came back on a Greyhound bus with the MoonshineRacers.com <laughs> name under my belt. <laughs> One day, uh, my sister's boyfriend, was a, which was a musician, and quite a, a very well accomplished drummer, told me that I ought to uh, go for what I want really, you know, he asked me what instrument that I really want to play, do I want to go back to play? And I said, no, I want to play string instruments. He said, well, what do you really want to play? I said, I've always wanted to play a banjo. I've always loved bluegrass music because I was influenced with that through my dad and my grandpa. So I just picked it up and took a couple of lessons in about six months I was playing it started traveling to bluegrass festivals and really just picking up my chops and my licks from uh, playing in the parking lot and in the rough you know and just going to blue, all through the south to playing the bluegrass festival. Uh, started playing the bass uh, met this Japanese guy down at the local Morganton uh, music store and his name was Moto and he went on to uh, MIT to become something pretty cool, I'm sure. But uh, Moto was awesome. He was really instrumental in uh, throwing the Jocko Pastor style into my, into my face. And I just, I was like amazed and blown away. So that was my first major influence on the bass. You know, during the video game phase of my life, I was listening to music and uh, things like, uh, at the time it was what, Peter Frampton? I was a little softer rock than these guys. Iron Maiden was a little too hard for me. Um, you know, uh, Eric Clapton, uh, and then I always liked fancy guitarists like Aldi Miola and Eric Johnson and, uh, you know, Steve Morse. At this point, my main influence, I'd have to say, is Jerry Garcia. And I never really learned any note for note things, except for a few songs here and there. But it was the uh, getting lost in the music Mimic. and then trying to get back into it. It's it's like getting back into it after you're out there. It, that's the, the improv, fun part. Thing. Getting lost and that's on where, purpose you know, he just calls to try to find your way back. I don't know what to call it. It's um, improv. It's fun. Um, I think bluegrass and heavy metal are similar because I mean there's a strong driving rhythm to both styles of music. Um, there usually is a lead instrument taking uh, solos, a soloist taking solos, leads. Solos taking leads, leads taking solos. Yeah. Cito is, our, is pretty much our master lead soloist. And um, similar in heavy metal, there's always a really strong lead guitarist. In this group, we have a really strong lead guitarist. And, uh, you know, that's some of the similar, and this guy is totally from similar backgrounds with the Iron Maiden, strong heavy driving bass, 
you know, we have a rhythm section to go along with it. So, you know, there there is that somewhat parallel. But I'm just happy to be jamming with these guys. They are fun. My parents, I grew up listening, my parents listened to Jimmy Rogers, Carter Family, Bill Monroe, all the traditional old time uh, music and stuff like that. But in high school, I grew away from that, got into the rock and roll. College, met people like Cito, got into the Grateful Dead, which was a wonderful thing actually in retrospect because the Grateful Dead encompassed so many different styles of music, including bluegrass and country, which is right down my alley as well as the rock and roll. So from there, I just continued to play what I liked and what I wanted and what I've liked and what I've wanted. It's been like rock and roll, bluegrass, jazz. Yeah, it's been, it's a fruition of everything I've done and these guys are the greatest guys in the world to play that with because they're the only ones who understand it. Way you're